Good morning and welcome to the first virtual lesson for Math 8. Today's topic we're going to be talking about angles and triangles. Mostly triangles. We'll get into some more angle stuff uh, a little bit later. But we're going to try to go as... I, I'm going to go at a normal pace. Remember you can always pause the video at any time. Rewind, watch it again. Anything you need. And if you have far, further questions, just send me an email. So, we're going to start off with the basic three angles. So, what are the three types of angles? Seems pretty straightforward. We've got the acute angle. Okay, acute means less than 90 degrees. So, simple, which leads us to the next one, which would be a right angle, and that's exactly 90 degrees. That's indicated by a little box, and that tells us that that's a 90 degree angle. No matter where it is on the drawing, that's a 90 degree angle. And then the last one is called an obtuse angle, and that's greater than. 90 degrees. Now I'm going to talk to you some about some other angles later on, but these are the basics. Okay, this is all we need to really focus on for today, and this is all we're going to work on. And then we're really going to tie this all together with triangles. This is just the this is just the a warm up, as it were, just a little again, so that you understand the vocabulary. When I say this is an acute something, you know that means that the angle is less than 90 degrees. If I tell you it's a right, we dealt, we did a lot of work with right triangles. There's a lot of things with right triangles. That's that Pythagorean theorem. That's the, uh, anything you do in trigonometry, when you get into that in high school, you'll see a lot of trigonometry. You'll be finding a lot of angles, or finding the sign of an angle. But again, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So that's the basics on angles, okay? Really what I want to talk about here is the various types of triangles, okay? There are quite a few, and again, it's really important that we know what it is that I'm talking about when I say a triangle, okay? We all know a triangle, three sides, okay? But there's a lot of different names, okay? So let's, let's talk about the different types of triangles, okay? The, the first one we're gonna talk about is a right triangle. And you should remember this from all the work we did with the Pythagorean Theorem. And a right triangle is just any triangle that has exactly one right angle. One 90 degree angle. That's what indicates that this is a right triangle, is that that one angle. We don't worry about the other two. And I say that, as soon as I say that, we should worry about it. Because how much do those other angles have to be? Well, I don't know what they are individually, but together, all triangles, all triangles have to equal 180 degrees. And we're going to do a lot of work where we're going to be finding missing angles. We know what one, we know two of the angles, we can find the third. Pretty simple. If everything adds up to 180 and we know what everything else is, we know what's missing, right? And it's very interesting because... All triangles are 180 degrees, doesn't matter what type, what type they are, how they're drawn, whatever. Um, and then every time you add one side to a triangle, make it a four-sided figure, you add 180 degrees. So every square is 360, so is every rhombus, rectangle, and so on. If you add another one and make a pentagon, you add another 180 degrees, you get 540, and so on down the line. And that's, again, something you'll work on a little bit later, but I always love to be the first one to tell you something so that when you see it, you go, hey, I remember when, I, when Mr. Mack brought that up. But the real big one here is that all triangles are 180 degrees. And we're going to do a lot of things that are 180 degrees. And we're going to do a lot of things. We'll do a few things that are 90 and a few th and then maybe even a few things that are 360. But really a lot of 180 degree angles. So that's a right triangle. Okay, the next, the next triangle we want to talk about is one that's called equa. Equa, meaning equal, and lateral. Lateral meaning sides. So this is equal 
sides, uh, not sided, sides. If you're a football fan like myself, when they throw the ball sideways, they call it a lateral. They always want to know, do they throw it sideways or forward? So an equal lateral, that means that all the sides in the triangle are equal. They're all exactly the same measurement, okay? Inches, feet, doesn't matter, but they're all the same. It also means that every angle has to be the same. And if every angle has to be the same, well, there are three angles, and they all have to add up to be 180 degrees. Remember, we just said that a moment ago, and here we are coming back to it. That means that every angle in this triangle has to be exactly 60 degrees. Okay, so it's equilateral. It's also called equa, again, we know that means equal, angular, meaning all the angles are equal. So it's equal sides, equilateral, and equiangular, all the angles are equal. So we have a equal sides and equal angles. Again, kind of an important one to know. Um, it's always uh, the best use of your building materials if you're ever getting into that. Squares are the best. The next up would be equilateral triangles. Okay. The next one we have is one called isosceles. And we're, we get a lot of these words from the Greeks, so we don't have really a, a English equivalent, so we just told, took their word. Isosceles simply means two sides are equal. And that would look like this. We indicate those little marks mean the things are equal. Even if we don't know how much they are, we know they are equal. Okay? Like, I know two twins are of the same age. I may not know how old they are, but I know they're the same age because they're twins. And so on. Same idea here with sides. Same idea with angles. We indicate it with these little curves for angles and little marks for sides. Okay? And the last one we want to talk about is one called scalene. And really, what does that mean? Nothing is the same. I know it looks a little weird the way I'm writing here. But scalene means nothing's the same. All the angles are different. Okay, all the size lengths are different. There's nothing spectacular about them. Now they can be scalene. It could still be a right triangle. Those are usually scalene. Because it just means the sides and the angles are all different. It doesn't necessarily stop it from being a right triangle. It also doesn't stop it from being acute. It doesn't stop it from being right or obtuse. It could be any of these and still be scalene. Sometimes we use both of those. We could talk about an acute scalene. That means all the angles are less than 90 degrees and none of the sides are the same. We could talk about a right scalene. That means at least one angle is 90 degrees, but none of the sides are the same. Okay, you can have an, an obtuse, you could have all one angle is bigger than 90 degrees. Can't have more than one because if you remember it can only add up to 180, so you can only have one angle 90 or more degrees. And then scalene. Equilateral is automatically acute because they're all 60. Um, other than that, isosceles can be obtuse. It could be right, it could be acute. It doesn't have any, nothing holding it back either. So really, the only one that, that really kind of stands out is that equilateral is automatically acute. All right. Again, this is so that when we're talking about angles in our next lesson, we're talking about acute angles, when we're talking about obtuse angles, when we're talking about right angles, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now remember, refer back to this for your homework assignments, and if you have questions, send them to me on Jupiter.